What's up, Lesby fam? So, as you guys all know, last week I was super stressed out um, about Liam's behavior. Um, so, today I have two special guests. One is my mom and my sister. Hey. <laughs> my sister's going to help me interpret because I'm not very good at it. But, mom, ¿tú cómo lo hiciste? Oh, so the question is, how did you do it with the five kids? and the tan their tamper tantrums, what did you do? Si, por ejemplo, tú ya no querías más, entonces lo que hacías es batirte el huevito <laughs> en tu cabeza, <laughs> en tu cara y te lo amarrabas todo. Y eso me causaba un poco de enojo. <laughs> so, she's, so she's saying that when Magali was done with the eggs and she didn't want any more, instead of saying no thank you or no more, she would get it and she would put it all over for her herself, her hair, her face, her clothes, and that that would cause her some anger. Anxiety. And <laughs> Bueno, entonces eso me hacía pensar de que tenía que ser un poco de esfuerzo, tener calma y me hacía feliz después del momento. El hacer travesuras, el reír, hacer cosas, eso llenaba mi corazón y sentía que el esfuerzo era muy bueno. El estar cuidando, el estar tener paciencia y eso era, era, se pagaba con una sonrisa, con un enojo, con, era gracioso para mí y tenía que tener la paciencia que se necesitaba. So it... Basically, it would, having these many kids and their temper tantrums and everything, it would back her up in work. She would be late to places. But um, she just had to keep reminding herself to keep herself calm in these situations and to just remember that they're kids, that kids will be kids and that they have this extra energy. And sometimes that they will do things that, you know, an adult doesn't want them to do, but they're kids. Um, and also that even though there were so many moments where you would she would get angry at things that they were doing and not listening that she would just remember that they're her kids she's going to keep calm she's going to have patience with them and she has to keep forcing herself to remember that um it's just a little phase that they're going through and also that it's well worth it because with the smile with the uh, an i love you with little gestures like that it, it just it all becomes okay En aquel tiempo no se podía, no había esa información de cómo hacer con los, con los uh, hijos. Se usaba mucho que uno les tenía que pegar. Entonces solamente uh, trataba yo de pegarte un poquito en la boca, no fuerte, porque yo sé que no es bueno, podía sangrarte, pero sí trataba de pegarte como un poquito quedito. Eso no se hace, no lo tienes que hacer, aunque me divertía porque yo también hacía eso. <laughs> me sentía que, que da, los genes tienen que pa pasar. ¿Por qué haces eso? Digo, oh, wow, yo también lo hacía. Digo, so, entonces... what she's saying is um, that what she would have to do is, same as always, number one is to have patience and calm down, and then she wouldn't hit you hard, but that she would basically just, you know, a quick pop little, me. just pop you on the lips, Sabe you know, no not to the point where she wouldn't want to make you bleed or a hard hit because, you know, you're just a kid, um, but that she had to teach you that it's not okay. And so she would just smack you on the quick on the lips a little bit, and just keep telling you, "Hey, that's not okay. That's not okay." Um, and that even though for her sometimes it was funny, um, but it still wasn't something that's okay. It was funny in the sense because it reminded her of, of when she, when was, she was small. Yeah. yeah. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Now that you have kids, Yvette, yeah, I know you have two, and Christian has a lot of energy, and so does Galilea. Like, how do you, how do you deal with the temper tantrums? Like, well, number one, I do have to say that my parents, um, thanks to my both my my mom and my dad, I do have a lot of support there. They've they've uh, had them for some time as well um, because of my work. But I mean, me having them, I'm having them more now. It's it's hard sometimes. You do have to keep calm, and that's where mom also keeps reminding me of, hey, calm down, don't yell at the kids, don't do this, but, and, um, you know, she just says, calm down and keep, keep your cool. I know for me, it's been kind of hard because of the both kids, and sometimes one is doing one thing and the other one's doing another thing, and it's kind of hard for me to be able to catch both of them or correct them both at the same time, 
what I've learned is number one is patience. You just have to keep calm. There's just no way around that. Yeah. And it's sometimes it's so hard to do it, but you really have to just pull it out of yourself and just cool down. After that, what I do is obviously I have to, you know, correct them. So I'll sit Christian down. Like if he threw a toy, I tell him don't throw your toys, which he's doing a lot right now. Do you now. put him on timeout? I do time out, um, and it's funny because, you know, I've, I have spanked him, but spanking now is not working. Right. Um, I can spank him, he'll go back and do the same thing. And I've noticed that time out, taking something away from him that he likes, like a car, the toy, yeah. I'll take it away, I'll put it on top of the fridge, and it seems to get to, through to him more than the spanking. Yeah. Well, I think getting back to the whole temper tantrum, I think it's really important that... Um, for me it's just been a learning experience i always do question myself if i'm doing things right and what can i be doing better if there's a book i can basically sometimes i wish there was a book out there that can just have instructions you know yeah. and just read it and have a solution but it's not about that every kid i feel is different every situation is different as every family is different and i think that it's just important to find out what works better for you what works better for your family for your kids and and you know you will try it one way like for me i just i tried time out for a little bit when he was young and it seemed to work and then it seemed not to work and then i tried spanking and it worked for a little bit and then not again and now i'm back to time out again and it and it just it's what's working for christian it's what's working for galilea um and i think that's the best thing i could tell you for you too for leah thank you does does galilea like throw herself on the floor or did she go through a stage that she oh would yeah herself? she would she would throw herself on the ground and then she would kind of sit up and then she would just want to slam herself backwards and that was a very scary thing yeah and that's because, what i'm going through with Leah. yeah so how did you deal with that i i i would just try to if i knew she was going to kind of get mad i would just take precautions i would put my my leg behind her so in case she did want to throw herself well then she'd hit my leg and not the ground you know, put a, throw a pillow real quick behind her, mm -hmm. and I think that that was just that was a really that was a little bit scary because yeah. you know my floor is cement and tile, yeah. and so you know hit like that to the head, well, yeah, that's gonna really hurt. Yeah, because I know we have we've got you know wooden floors and whatnot, but he still bangs himself on on the floor, um, or like even on our doors. Or like wherever he is <laughs> on our walls like literally wherever he is he will go and slam his head yeah on it because he just does you know he's mad but yeah. now understanding um i'm finally understanding like where it's coming from it comes from i guess me um we don't know the donors um what he was like when he was young but i do see a lot of me in liam which is kind of scary. So I'm in for a huge surprise. Cause I, or I guess I shouldn't say surprise, but um, it's You're gonna be a lot of work. Off your journey. Yeah, this is it's journey. gonna be a lot of work, and um, I'm excited in this, you know, in a sense. But I'm also worried because um, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this temper Yo tantrum. So it's gonna be hard. Que trabajan, hacen su trabajo de cuidar a sus bebés y tienen, comparten el, el dinero con sus parejas. Es muy difícil. Anteriormente la mujer no trabajaba, solamente el hombre. Entonces era muy fácil. Ahora no es fácil. Por eso so, um, she says that she gives a lot of uh, praise and a lot of um, credit to the, well, basically to the uh, families these days, the moms especially, mm -hmm. to the women because you know they play a great part in that before it would just be that they would be at home with the kids and these days they're not only taking care of the kids and um and their well-beings but as well working bringing home some bacon as well and also you know just sharing that with the with the partner yeah so. sharing responsibilities and exactly. everything like you do you work oh, yeah. really really long hours and yeah. so does your husband vivi same thing vivi works yeah. god she works you know, um, sometimes she works 10, 12 hour days. And as you guys know, we both work really hard, but mom is right. Like, where do we find time to discipline? But I am, um, as my sister mentioned, I do have to find what works for me and Liam. Um, as we said before, spanking doesn't work. Clearly spanking hasn't worked for my sister either. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to have to resort to timeouts. Um, yeah, timeouts. Yeah, and also I think, 
I think taking something that they like is her kind of understanding that they have to, like with Christian or not, I, I do take it away. I think also one thing I didn't mention is talking to them. You know, not just if you're going to spank them, tell them why you spank them. If you're going to put them on timeout, tell them why you're putting them on timeout. And also, you know, letting them know that what's what they did and what they can do, you know, uh, so that they understand what they should do, you know, how to correct them, how to correct that action. I think it's really important with Christian. It's a so lot basically is tell him to what, him. why you yeah. did, why he got a timeout, yeah. what he did to get that. You know, for me with Christian, ever since he was little, I would try to talk to him and tell him like, hey, no, you don't do this. I might think I might be kind of like a, you know, dumb for thinking this, but I feel that kids at whatever age, they're going to understand. Kids are you very know, smart. They're very smart, especially like these ages. I just, I don't know, they're born with like two brains or something, you know, <laughs> but it's like, they're so smart too well they will understand you and I think the more you talk to them the more you explain to them even if it's just it keeps being the same thing being repeated over and over they're gonna start getting it yeah and but I have had to really take like patient pills because um patience is a really big thing yeah thank you parents um mom dad and Yvette for taking the time to give me these um consejos these tips because I totally need them and again, as you all know, I was super stressed out, so I feel a little bit better. I went to everybody's comments. I feel that Vivi and I are gonna be on the same page and that we could um, do better. So don't forget to comment, like, like, subscribe, <laughs> bye.